Uh, Jill Kittner um, from Seattle, Washington State, right? Yeah. Uh, we're on Sheep Skull in the Forest of Dean. How many sheep in Seattle? No, not too many sheep, no. <laughs> Have you ever thought of being a farmer? Mm, no. <laughs> anyway, some more earthy things. We're here in, uh, on Sheep Skull track. Uh, we've got a combination corner coming up, uh, right, left. I mean, um, that's your kind of that's your kind of stuff, Jill, isn't it? Do you want to talk us through it? Yeah, it's just change of direction. It's real important that you get this first one good, so you can be set up for the second one and get out of there. So, yeah, as you you can kind of see, like people that aren't committed and like break at the wrong point, so you'll go up and over the turn. So important thing is to kind of keep the pressure equal in your feet and really g out at the apex, and then look where you're going to get into the next one. Let's go back a few steps. Now, the, this is the start of the corner here. Where are you kind of breaking in a place like this? I mean, in general, you can kind of break most of the way till the apex, and then as soon as you are actually make that shift of direction, you want to be off the brake. So braking in straight lines is pretty much recommended. So, so you say as soon, as soon as you do the shift in direction, what are you talking about kind of... This is the halfway point of the corner. This is a 90, a 90 right. Are we talking here or...? Yeah, you can get away with that, but since it's like a nice bank turn, you might not have to break that far into it. You might be able to let off a little bit sooner and get out of there. But typically, like, yeah, when you're going straight and you want to um, scrub your speed, you scrub it in the distance but before you change direction. So when you make that pivot in the apex, that's you want to be off the brakes for that, mostly. So like right here is like where you you got the equal pressure in your feet, you can feel that force, and you use your legs and your body to push yourself up and change the direction. Um, whereabouts does that happen? I guess you do it instinctively now, right? Yeah. But can roughly where does that happen? Yeah, it roughly happens like right where you feel the biggest force of gravity pushing you down. So I'd say like right here is where you make your direction shift. And a lot of times people don't really think about it, but you know, like your knees are really important, like your inside knee leading you to where you want to go because that allows you to be able to like lean the bike over. If your knee was like against the bar, you'd be like kind of more upright. So you open this up and it, it also turns your hips. So you're kind of in like, <laughs> it looks stupid, but I don't know, you're pushing with your hand, you're opening your knee and you're looking where you want to go, so. Okay, so right hand hand, inside knee <laughs> out. I know, uh, it's kind of like a lot to think of, but it's like where you look is where you're going to go, basically. But, but that moment, there's a big kind of, big change then in, in an instant, in probably like kind of half second, right, in this part. So we look at this combination goes from right to left. Talk us through that kind of transition. Yeah, I mean, like where your eyes go is really important because if you're like looking down, you won't see this coming. And so you can start really slow and kind of build into this and sort of like adjust your eyes accordingly to your speed. But yeah, I don't know. It's a really natural thing for us. Like we've, we've done grass cone slalom for so long that we've like learned when to break and when to let off and then how far ahead you need to look to get out of there. And, and you know, you, you hear this all the time about where your eyes are looking, but sometimes you could be out of shape and you should do things which aren't going to train things, right? That you need to actually go with the flow and sometimes your knee will be on the on the down tube and you just let it kind of, you go with it sometimes, though, right? I learned this from Fabian Burrell, but he always said to put your outside knee against the top tube and that'll give you the more, more room to kind of like, it's kind of like a, a V, you just kind of shift that that V to where you want to go so it's I guess what I'm saying is like there's like textbook stuff but a lot of the time there's non textbook stuff you just kind of go with the flow don't you yeah I mean it's a flowy trail that you just you know you have your own style and your own way of doing it so yeah there's no right way or wrong way but I guess everyone's gonna ask about that pedal shift middle corner <laughs> people people who are going up here and over should be asking about that that's from that's from coming in and you're you're not getting the lean like you can see it all the time there we go here's one yeah, oh, yeah. let's have a look at the technique Jill See, he lent. He lent his whole body. Yeah, but his knee wasn't open, so he couldn't really lean the bike over. That's, See, that's if it was like body leaning. that was like fairly decent though. Like they were nice and balanced, which is is good. Is like you want to keep your balance, and they were looking where they're going. But the guy in front, he could have like been a bit lower had he like yeah. opened his knee. How low do you go? As low as you can. It's like that G force that like pushes you. Like so, the faster you go, it's going to be more of a G, like right. more of a force downward. So that's when you like really use your legs. Like you hit that G and then your legs like push you out of it. So most of the, most cornering is really done with your so you spend biggest lot, muscle. <laughs> you're going to be spending a lot of time on those squats, aren't you? Yeah, you got to get on the squats. <laughs> so, <laughs> so meanwhile on the side of the track, Bryn Atkinson. Bryn Atkinson, what have you got to really think of Jill's uh, comments there? You agree with that? Oh, I like it. It's probably a little mouthy for me, but you know, I just kind of tend to just chuck her in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, chuck, chuck her in the corners. Yeah, you know, you want 
and search for the, the main source of support in the turn and then just kind of keep lightweight between them and then follow your eyes through. But just keep it smooth through the corner and show the fundamentals. Confusing people. It is com it's a confusing old business, isn't it, Bryn? Well, it is, you know. It's, it's all just about practice, really, when it comes down to it, and you just got to kind of find what works for you, you know. You, some people, you know, it might be best to r be really light in between and swing it around, and if they feel good with that, then that's going to work for them. But then there's other people who, who don't corner as well, so they might need to slow down a lot more, and, um, yeah, just all different styles. I think it's quite interesting about getting low, though. The low you get on these corners, it does, it does help you cornering, doesn't it? Maybe. You know, I don't know about as low as you can get. <laughs> you know, it's not like I'm constantly trying to get as low as I can. Do you, do you know what I get a lot of time that people try to get these perfect kind of styles in, in different corners or jumps and stuff and ultimately it's not, it's not quite like that, is it? No, it's, I mean, as I said, everyone's different, you know, we all have different shapes of our bodies and you kind of got to work with the muscles that are strong, you know, so... Um, yeah, just practice makes perfect day. I guess maybe rather than kind of have the perfect style, maybe the perfect flow is a better thing to do? Totally, yeah, it's, it's more about efficiency, efficiency through the corners and especially yeah. if it's multiple turns, the second one is the most important. Efficiency over technique? It's a balance. That's pretty efficient, wasn't it? Yeah, it was wonderful. She just executed that really nicely. Copy book. Let's move on to the next corner. Okay.